We have to pick a winner from last week, right? 50 ball. Okay, so Gary, since you're back, you're just gonna tell me when to stop. This is <laughs> he found Jordan one's at Store Junior, right? Mm -hmm. Let me know. You know, give it a second. Gotcha. But just let me know when you're feeling lucky. Wanna stop? Great content, guys. We're going with Heather Berry, and below is King Maidaz. The Foo Foo Cam edit had me rolling. When I seen the Foo Foo Cam on top corner, whoever had that idea for the video is a genius. Keep up the good work and keep grinding, fellas. Hope to meet all of you guys at some point. So that's Heather Berry and King Maidaz. So they're gonna flip a coin. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> the camera just caught me, so. Whatever, we're gonna go half dollar again, guys. Big half dollar energy. Heather, you are heads. King my dads, you are tails. Good luck to you guys. Heather, Heather Barry, you are the winner of the random giveaway. How much was that, 50? 50. Dang, 50 cash going to you. We're gonna try to hit you up. Hopefully you can hit us up via DM or something like that. YouTube, what's up? Today is Tuesday. We have a 50 burger. As you can see, 50 orders going out. Where do we even begin? I don't, I don't really even know. Rick and Morty's, love that shoe. Pine Green 3, shouts to the dude who hit us up via DM. We, we're gonna get those out to you today. Got some Belugas, got some weird, what are these, Olivia Kim, I think? Yeah. Uh, Air Force Ones, these are kinda cool. Corduroy with the snake skin, we got this. 1970 hat from some high school, shouts to the dude who ordered that. He said he's a YouTube supporter. We got some, I think those are called the Fury Blues, I call them the Hypnotic, Nike SB Dunk. All types of stuff, man. Vapor Maxes, Shack Attacks. I'm a big fan of this silhouette. It's a really cool shoe. Got a pair of 2011 Cool Grays. And then we go over here. Cool Gray 11 Lows. Cherry 13s. Peep these. These just remind me of uh, ninth grade right here. Some beaters. These were a 99 cent auction. They finished at like 30 bucks. We got some Black Cement 3s. Wave Runners. If you watched the flea market video, you saw me snipe these for 30. Those are heading overseas for over 100 bucks. Rangers Jacket. Think they're in the playoffs, right? They are. With tags. With tags. Still attached, brand brand new size XL. You just don't walk into every sneaker store and find stuff like this, you definitely don't. Speaking of that, I mean, again, just look at the array. A size three pollen vans, neon 95 fours, IEs, the shadow, one low golf. I mean, I could keep going. Oh, wait, 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 how could I forget? The Dior's, RIP, pop smoke. Anything for the people, guys? 50 ball, the variety is even crazier. I say that every week, but like, if you just look at the line of beaters, you go from size seven New Bounds, jump over to a Wave Runner, jump over to a Black uh, black Man 3, you go to the, the Air Force, it's just like crazy, crazy stuff. Again, Rangers jacket, that's how it tags, a lot of these windbreakers, a lot of these hats that we saw that was just sitting on the shelves in racks, you say yo let's decide to put this up because it's just sitting here and you guys are always ask us to put stuff online like clothing and stuff like that no shot to you guys the Dior's are crazy because again I, I don't really like designer sneakers but like those Dior's are actually like really really hard so for a pretty penny so hopefully they pass through like we get the sizing right finger cross on that size three pollen Columbia four it's like a crazy crazy variety two cool grays low and high beautiful selection of stuff Evan I'll say my favorite sneaker out of this little batch I mean black cement's obviously they are awesome, but I really like those neon uh, fours. For some reason, those are kind of like fire to me. So yeah, that's my that's my shoe. Yeah, so we got 50 here. So this is gonna go to the lucky winner that we're gonna pick from this episode. So obviously all you have to do is drop a comment, be subscribed, and drop a like. Not that we can track likes, but you know, nice to drop a like here and there. What else we got going on? Oh, we gotta talk about the playoffs. Don't get me started, guys. <laughs> look, look, look. All you guys are gonna be in the comments like, you don't know what you're talking about, da, da, da. Of course I don't. You know, it, it, it's basketball, it's a playoffs. Like, that was my pick, the Bucks were my pick. Obviously, it's not looking too good, but hey, you guys remember what the Bucks have done in the past? They can easily win three straight, whatever they gotta do. No, two straight, right? Two straight. Yeah, two straight, what am I talking about? I don't even care anymore. You no, know, it is what it is. I might take an L, but it happens. You in a dog fight too, sons. That boy Luca, oh my God. Good players, man. <laughs> Good players. I'm gonna be honest, I was watching that game last night and I was just like, man, it just seems like the Celtics still can come back. Like, they, they just couldn't bury them. Whatever, it happens, guys. They're good games, that's what's important. You know, I watch that whole game and I don't usually watch full basketball games, I watch that whole game, so. so. We will be in Orlando next month, which is exciting. What day is that, July? 4th. 
Uh, June 4th. Uh, June 4th. Berwin and I will be in Orlando. Jordan, Evan, Gary might be here as well, holding down the fort. And yeah, Berwin, are you uh, anything to say about the show? Do you want Jordan to hold the camera, talk some shit, or no? Uh, I'll just say I'm like I'm pretty excited and I look forward to being in Orlando. And it's my first time there, so hopefully we have a good time. Hopefully we have a good time. <laughs> I don't really like planes, but hey, it should be a you know a fun experience. We're gonna be out there for a couple of days, going to the sneaker sesh show. So hopefully we buy some good stuff, find some good stuff, and hopefully you know Florida showing some love in my head it's like dang if we go to florida like i just feel like no one's gonna know who we are out there but you know you never know i guess you know youtube's a universe that i never knew about so anything else not really let's pack up all this stuff and see what happens you got a price in mind for this no, stuff I, never I went to the other store and now um, i moved out to somerset the other store um somerset. New Brunswick. oh yeah i ain't gonna hold y'all they prices a little it's <laughs> more than y'all and they just opened up another store right next to it the female one yeah, right yeah I, female and kids prices is still like crazy yeah like yo i'm like yo top shelf don't do this <laughs> you're like yo that's my oh. man i know them i'm like yeah but why you have prices like an extra 60 100 dollars mm -hmm. on it like, but they get a lot of business so i guess i told you last time you were here i told you <laughs> i told you I, i've been waiting for you i told you last time you were here oh no, but we the, won though we no no, no, the, Ram, no the rams won no, no you, i was you, here I, I was here no no, no you came but last time you were here it was right before the super bowl oh it was, I, it was I, the I, NFC I, championship you and i said it's hard to be a team three times you right now you're right now you're right now you're right you're right now you're right we're around seven for everything yeah, that's fine. That's cool. Uh, how we usually pay you? Apple Pay. Apple Pay, Apple Pay. I'm here, got a quick unboxing for y'all. This is an iffy one. I really like the silhouette, but I like how they look, colorway-wise and, and hype-wise. I don't really know, but you know, definitely a good silhouette. So I had to at least try to get a pair, and I did. Retail, manual, doesn't really mean much because I don't think they're going for much, but hey. Definitely something I might hold on to for a little bit. I hope the quality is nice. We're going to find out together. Some cream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought it was a slide out box. I guess not. Here we have the Air Zoom Flight 95 SP, as in special. How you doing, man? I do kind of like them. It just kind of depends on the value you're looking for for them. I think you were asking like 100, right? Yeah, around that. I mean, I don't even fit these at all, so I'm just trying to get rid of them. What do you think you'd want to take for them? I know it's a weird market because brand new, obviously, they're going yeah. for something stupid. You know yeah. What I mean? yeah, I get you. I mean, 80 to 100, I think seems good, cool to me. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think we would want to do that just because. What would you want to do? Have you tried to like put them online or anything? No, not really. Like I said, I, I ran into a lot of size 12s. So if it's like something I think you would like. Yeah. You know, it it's a weird market though, because it's like last sale for a last level was $85 new. And I know that. Would you do like 50 or not? Nah? I'll take a chance at 40. I do. I, mean, cool. like I, said, I really don't even fit them. So. Yeah, it's weird how like I have some for, some ones, but they're like really really messed up. So I didn't want to bring them. They're size twelve too. I mean, you could bring them. We could always check them out. But if they're like really really messed up, we might not be yeah, interested. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it'll be worth. Cash is cool. Yeah, bro. Thanks. Right, I appreciate yeah, no problem, bro. it. Have a nice day. All right. Well, that was just a quick buyout. Might as well talk about it real quick. Tech challenge two. This colorway is going for stupid bread, brand new. Does that mean we can buy them used for a lot of bread? No, it doesn't. I feel comfortable at forty. I mean, worst worst case scenario, I'd assume we're going to get six. For him, which again 50% margin is not really that bad oh, nice pass. I, uh, yeah i mean i was thinking about passing also but uh you know 40 bucks again we kind of buy everything here if it makes sense i've sold a lot of tech challenge twos in my day so you know they do sell but enough of those back to what we were talking about Whew, these joints crazy <laughs> so this is what i was going to talk about with this sneaker as much as i love this sneaker if you guys know jason kidd is probably my favorite basketball player of all time when it comes to like guys i used to watch as a kid personally you know he's up there speaking of that you know what else highlights i was watching the other day stefan marbury highlights oh my god he was like a really different animal out there and a lot of people don't talk about him but like whoa he used to do some crazy stuff but yeah man um i i chose this colorway because i thought it popped a little more than the black i also thought everyone was going to go for the black one i don't know i feel like if you're gonna wear this sneaker with the bandana and all that it has to be like colorful so we're gonna speak about the silhouette itself the zoom flight 95 i'm a big fan of it it's a jason kidd sneaker but every time i've gotten this sneaker i put them on my feet and they just feel funny like the 11 and a half feels too small the 12 feels weird 
I mean, you could just look at this sneaker and you can tell it's a funny fitting sneaker. So for this go around, I went with a 12. Will I put these up? Will I wear them? I, I don't really know. I might just like, you know, hold them in the collection for a year or two. It's cool, man. I mean, you know, the collector in me, this is definitely a cool nostalgic sneaker for me. It's cool that Supreme did a collaboration with this silhouette out of all silhouettes. It's also kind of crazy to me, to be honest, that like Nike just like let Supreme do all these sneakers, right? Like Nike's like, hey, oh yeah, you want to do that? That's cool. We can do that. Oh, you want to do a dunk? Cool, cool, cool. Oh, you want to do a, a Air Max tailwind? Oh yeah, we'll do that. Like, you know, that that's pretty cool. If you guys could have one shoe to collab with Nike, what would it be? Jordan first. No, 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 no. You first, you first, you first. You I mean, ask the question, you I mean, first. I gotta think about this. I mean, it has to be a Nike too. It can't be like a Jordan. We're talking Nike, right, Nike sportswear. Nike. So you know me, Air Max 90 or Air Max 180 for sure. Oh, Air Max 180 go crazy. Yeah, I, I, I'd kill an Air Max 180. I'd kill an Air Max 180. Oh, that's, oh, that's how hard. <laughs> that's how hard. I can't, I can't, I can't go, I can't even like think. Then you can say, oh, an Air Force One be cool, but not. Air Max 90, Air Max 180, either of those, my personal uh, collab shoe. Look at this flat wall, just feel like a little inspiration. Some of the things that stick out to me is like a 95 Air Max. I think a 95 or a 98 Air Max or a 97. 95, 97, 98 Air Max. 98 would go crazy. One of those three. Actually, they did a 97 already, right? Yeah. And a 98. I'm stupid. A 95. Already. I think I would do an Air Tech Challenge or a Carnivore. An Air Tech Challenge would be crazy. A Carnivore would be ridiculous. <laughs> no one's done a, I feel like no one does Carnivores, so that's crazy. We also have some trades going down. Not really going to go deep into what trades happened and all that, but we're going to open up the boxes, see what's getting sent where and stuff like that. Yo, yo. Top shelf. Okay, yo yo didn't pick up. That was literally the name. It was the yo yo. So this is coming from Indiana. So shouts to Ross from Indiana for trusting in our trade process. Again, guys, before I get into this, if you guys want to trade anything, if you guys want to sell anything, if you guys want to buy anything, the best way to get in contact with us is calling the store during store hours. You can send a DM and all that stuff, but uh, you know it's very hard to get to all the DMs. We're gonna try to you know get to all of them when we can. But call the store during store hours. The other thing is, guys, always have prices for the items you are trying to sell, whether that be here or anywhere else. If you're trying to sell an item do your research have a price that you're looking for for that item it's really hard to just answer dms and you know have people say hey like what would you pay me for these they're born twice and i'm in california it's just like dude like i really don't know use is very hard to purchase out of state because we have so many people walking in with used pairs and again you know what you think is good condition to me might not be good condition and vice versa best way to get in contact with us stop asking us about dms pick up the phone our phone numbers you know in our bio call us during store hours that's tuesday through saturday one of us will help you whatever you need help with we'll, we'll answer whatever question you need answered because we see a lot of guys complaining about us not answering dms and then when we go to answer the dm it's, uh, i'll be honest with you guys it's just like a pointless dm like you know we can't answer all of them because some of them are just so like out there anyway back to this so we had a trade that got worked out i believe it was two pairs for one pair look at this rubber band man we have a cardinal and we have a red thunder and we have a note what a blessing it is to get this deal done with you guys i have been a subscriber on youtube since 30k just to you man really appreciate it plus still to this day have not miss a video dang god bless everyone god bless you keep bringing the fire content tsk receives red thunders and cardinals and ross receives a black cat four shouts to ross man we're gonna uh, make sure to authenticate both of these make sure there's no issues and then we're gonna get back to you with tracking for your black cat four okay next up we have another trait this one is eric in north carolina shouts to you eric in north carolina i think this was for i don't really remember off the top of my head but we'll figure it out first up we have one of my favorites just kidding the Bordeaux ones. Next up we have, oh, Trade Block. A lot of people have been using Trade Block, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't myself, but you might have to start looking into that. And we got some Uni Blue ones, size nine. So we're gonna take both of these sneakers, figure out what he wants to trade for, and get them sent out. So I appreciate you guys uh, making trades, and we're gonna make sure to get uh, the items that you guys ordered out. Evan, if you could choose one sneaker since you just walked in. Nike gave you one sneaker to do a collaboration with, what sneaker would you pick? Can't be a Jordan. Can't be a Jordan, yeah. I thought you were gonna choose a Jordan one low. Nike model. That's not a Jordan sneaker. Could be that funny model you almost bought the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I bought those. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you don't want to do that one? <laughs> nah, those are like a one-off. I only like that colorway, honestly. Okay, okay. Um, I do it like an Air Max. Yeah, I mean, you know. All right, I'll Nike do an Air Max. It would be between a one and a ninety. 
So let's do Air Max one. Nice. Actually, now that I'm like more and more and more thinking about it, I might have to choose some like Nike basketball craziness. Like Ooh. if they really let me, I'd bring back like a Vince Carter shock with the zipper with the VC, Ooh. or I'd or I'd do like a uh, like a flight posit. Bro, them eggplant flight posits. Oh my god! Like any flight posit to me. I need to start like wearing flight posits again. Anyway, enough rambling on there. We got all the orders out from UPS. We're gonna wait for the USPS orders. Pack up all the trades, get them shipped out, and then see what happens today. Oh, we were off camera because we couldn't film because Berwin was securing a sale. What did we sell? A uh, size nine black and white 550s. Boom, size nine black and white. Best price, best price online and around town. Wait, so. what, what, what we sell it for? 170. <laughs> That's a fucking steal. Where's it <laughs> going my to? Language. Going to California. Shout out to California. Shout out. We were Steals. Just saying, just saying. Bro, secured a sale. This is honestly, this is like, since like Friday or Saturday, this is like the fourth sale that we secured on the phone, which is like crazy to think about mm -hmm. because it's like, these people don't have social media. So like, we got to write down the information. Like, no, got to make sure we're precise and make sure we have the correct information, stuff like that. So you now shout out to all you guys who be calling in. Just shout out everyone who just shops with us, man, because we really appreciate it. But again, while he was securing that sale off camera, I was securing this deal we got a size 11 no insole no box no extra laces kobe six grinches why our life with them honestly um no separation nothing they are dirty they are gonna get a little wiped down but again a really good sneaker got it for a really good price we're gonna sell it for a really good price and you know, make some money off that and let's talk about this stuff shout out to my dude he always comes here and you know gives us really good deals and spends bread with us so shout out to him cool dude always talking sports we're gonna start off here size 10 silver toes size 10 unlvs i think this is a dazzling size 10 zebra size 10 a playoff size 10 in the israel film size 10 as well i know you guys have been hearing us say a lot of times we don't buy yeezys or like we're not trying to buy yeezys we're really not honestly if the price is right if it makes sense to us if we get a really good deal then we will buy it and honestly we try to get especially with yeezys we try to get a really good deal on them so we can sell them for a really good deal for you guys because again the market is like on yeezys is dropping they're um, a lot more accessible than they were a couple years ago if anything when we do get them we do want to get them for a good price and try to sell them for a good price because again they don't really go for that much and for us you know it's not great inventory you know stuff like this is great inventory stuff like a use you know these great inventory believe it or not the use silver toes are actually good inventory for us because again we move stuff like that pretty easily pretty quickly between the UNOVs, the playoffs and the silver toes i think one or two of them are going to be gone by next tuesday we got to pack those stuff up that a said earlier we got to the, um the trade I'm trying to think anything that happened this weekend oh how was your mother's day it was beautiful what did you do because uh, you know, you was, <laughs> you know? so i ended up getting my mom a full package at her favorite nail salon uh, bath and body works gift card fire. and i paid for lunch at rumpa cabana in fire. clifton fire cuban food so sounds expensive because <laughs> i'm not gonna lie <laughs> <kinda was. laughs> <laughs> but you know, Mother's Day, so you gotta treat your mom right, and yeah. Hey man, same here, Mother's Day was fine. My mom's been bugging me for some sneakers, so of course, you know, I had to get her laced from boop, Top Shelf Kicks. Hey. It's a sneaker I didn't want to get her, but like, because her size is just so, so small, there's not many options, and my mom is actually extremely, extremely picky, so I just went with something safe, black and white dunk, can't go wrong, wear with literally everything and anything. She was kind of happy about it, so got her some flowers, got her a card, and then she was getting lit off of Mosa, so. Hey. <laughs> Can't go you know, wrong with that. Hey, you know, whatever moms <laughs> want, mom gets. Got Father's Day in like a month and a half, I think. Like, what, we, what day is it? The 10th? Like a month, basically. Roughly like a, a little bit over a month, like a month and a week. I got to start playing where I'm going to get my dad probably another pair of sneakers. <laughs> he wears my size, so I got to figure out what uh what to get him. So, you guys in Florida, I'm going to make a hashtag. Starting next week, I'm going to say, <laughs> if you're in Florida, take a picture of Berwin. And, hey. and, and hashtag. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> hashtag B-dubs FL. Ooh. B dubs. Uh, I like that. <laughs> so I can see all all the fans taking pictures with Berwin. Berwin's gonna be lit. Bur I know Bur the the worst part about I going is that Berwin's gonna be lit. And like <laughs> 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 you're gonna be so lit and you, i swear to god like every time berman gets lit it's like i gotta i gotta make sure he's good like, every time berman gets lit and like doesn't put his phone on the charger not he just goes straight to sleep so i'm praying he's safe in florida all right. So, yeah. I found out my store, cleaning out my store, man. You have a price in mind for him? Nah, man. You let me know what you can do. When it's a jersey, man, it's too, a Chargers jersey. Yeah, that, that I bought is too tight, though. The holes I have laying around. Now we're talking. Should've kept it laying around. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a real I'm not wearing that shit. That's a real one. Oh, up there. Colts? We've been getting so many of these jackets, different teams, it's so funny. Me? 
No, someone oh. else sold me one the other day. A different yeah? team. What yeah. kind? Steelers. Yeah. The same. Uh, the same style. Yeah, same these, style. I, I think and we these go for some money, right? They're cool. Yeah. All right. What, what are we thinking? What do you? What do you? Uh, what do you got? Where you at? Where you at? You know me. I don't. You, I know, but give me a ballpark here. Buck fifty. Buck. I could do a buck for you if that works. That's probably where I'd be at. That's fine. That's fine. I don't wear them shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but you want the bag? Nah. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, Zell's best. Yeah. What were you looking for for this stuff? I don't know. You tell me, man. You have no price. I should have bought more. I just want to see. They hold us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell by the box. You guys make money off these shit, right? Yeah, that's that's the that's the plan. <laughs> that's honestly. the plan, right? Obviously, right. You buy old jerseys too, Mitchell and us? Uh, what size? Fifty six. Fifty six is a little bit tougher. Um, depending on the players, we might buy them. It, it's gonna be low, but like if I took both of them, probably like. 70 for both. Fuck it. That's cool? Yeah, that's it. Alright. I ain't gonna wear them. Uh, you got Apple Pay, Venmo. I got Zell. You got Zell? Alright. Come on guys, we're on back with some stuff going out. Right here we got some static 700s. I think these are going out to Storia, New York. So I guess, I guess they're getting authenticated first. But shout out to Coffee. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Uh, for copying those. Here we got some crafted Jordan 1s. No, no lid. These are going out to Astoria as well. So I guess they're getting authenticated. Shout out to Isaiah for having those. And then here we got some Vapor Maxes. Very, very clean. They got these recently, and these are going to Albuquerque. Shout out to Luke for copying those. Got some stuff going out. Gotta pack this all up. Let's see what's next. I'd probably only be interested in these, honestly. I'll probably be only like 130 for these. Do you do 140? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 140 is cool. Uh, what's the best way? You have Zelle, Apple Pay, Venmo. You got cash? Uh, no cash. I got Zelle. There you go. Right, cool. Going on, guys. Throwing back with another packaging unboxing. We'll do this one last. Do this one first. It's about to be that hot weather. You know, gotta have a, a vest on. So pretty much gave it away. It's not just your average vest. It's a duck camo vest. Mm. Uh, I've been looking at one of these for a while. Didn't want to spend the bread on a vape one. I was looking for something with a similar type of uh, pattern. Let's just see what it looks like. Guess how much I got it for, Jordan? Twenty. Lower. Ten. 15. That was my next guess. <laughs> you know what's creepy? I've been looking for duck camo pants, like, but the right pair of pants. Oh, wow. For like the longest. To add to my camo collection. Jordan's a big camo guy. So if you guys have any camo out there, digital camo, what's the one that you like all the time? The, the, like, the Car camo? like the Carhartt one. I'm actually looking at a Carhartt camo one too right now. Okay. okay. Second one I got from a person called me like a while ago on Instagram. And those are like bull stuff. He had this t shirt for sale. Pretty good price. And. Boom. Looks a little big. <laughs> you know what to do with yeah, that. Yeah, it does kind of look a little big. You know what to do with that. You know, starter. What size? Large. Nothing you, on the back. You know what to do know, with that. Little bulls, bulls loop. Let me wear it first. Try it on. <laughs> Try it on. I can just tell it's going to be too big. I'm already trying to get the shorts from him. <laughs> I hate shirts like that because it fits you perfect on the arms. <laughs> it's just like a little too long. Let me see. I mean, low key. I mean, actually, it's not. It's not even bad, honestly. I, make it work. I like my shirts like that, like, like low key. I think the bottom just like a little bit I mean, long, but it's not. It's not OD. I actually have another shirt coming in too, and it's a shirt I've been looking for a while. So stay tuned for that. What'd you pay for that one? What was it? Fifty-five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fifty-five. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in a bit. Peace. Turn this up real quick before we get out of here. Pretty good day today. Got a lot of stuff done. Got some content done. A bunch of listings done. Shipped out all that stuff, which is obviously the most important part. Got to make the donuts. Damn. Shout out to past to present. I mentioned that I don't have this one, and he said he has one that's like kind of getting destroyed that he can send. So that's awesome. Come on now. All right. Well. You know, the box isn't in the best condition, but that's really cool. Jordan, 
Scotty, Larry, Johnny. Is that supposed to be Chris Mullen? Doesn't really look like him. Yep, Chris Mullen. Shout out to Pastor President on that one, man. Really appreciate it. Definitely gonna put this somewhere cool. Set the mood in here, you know? Set the tone if it's not already set. Is it my one and done? Same. I'm gonna try something different today, guys. We're gonna do the bounce one and done. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Oh! <laughs> Guys, what's up? Starting today off, we got a few things to get packed up, but I just got this package in from California and uh, I didn't know what it was. And I think it's something really cool that we didn't order. So because of that, I feel like it's, you know, worthwhile to put this on video just to see our like natural reaction to what's in here. Top shelf kicks. This is crazy. Cause it looks like there's cool stuff in here. Like really cool stuff. Wow, really cool stuff. Two top shelf kicks. Here's some stuff from California as a gift to you. I do watch your YouTube videos all the time. I go to yard sales out here and find the t-shirts in Jersey. Paid $1 each and got the W legend from the store on sale for two dollars guess we'll see what that is uh, don't want nothing for all of it I just wanted to gift it to you you're a very humble person and a hard worker keep up the good work and stay true to yourself have a great day Paula from Cali oh found some more stuff as a gift enjoy I did clean everything that's crazy let's see what's in here well first up I know about this shirt because we had it before and it like sells for a pretty high price wow if she paid a dollar for this that's quite the fine oh, wow. here we got the Kobe goat shirt size small oh my gosh Paula you outdid <laughs> yourself this is crazy wow here we have an old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle wow the baseball player edition 1991 this could match my uh basketball player one this is sick this is sick I used to have a lot of these um back in the day at my grandma's house and every time i'd go you know we'd leave them there and we just have a few wow it stands up and everything oh my gosh this is getting crazier and crazier when i just pulled this off the thing under it is sick what 1988 that's wild dodgers versus oakland athletics that shirt's sick i feel like there was a hat that we had with this on the side right yeah yeah that's crazy this next one is oh my gosh 2x oh no Large. is this josh hamilton hey yo the angels 32 josh hamilton jersey i could be wrong but if this is the josh hamilton the one who was on drugs and the home run king that's crazy either way this is a crazy jersey and we're not done yet wow speed racer hat go 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 and then to finish it off we got the hurricane figure that's crazy don't think i have the hurricane so this is sick pretty speechless that someone would take time to package up all this stuff and send it to the store we're very appreciative of that we definitely got to send you something i don't know maybe we'll send a t-shirt or something like that to you really cool to open this up to start today yeah pretty speechless shouts to california really appreciate the love all this cool stuff we're definitely going to make use of it for sure and uh, let's just quickly go over here and see what's sold first up berwin just mentioned we got these in yesterday this is a used playoff 12 we sold this for less than retail ship obviously you guys know we invested a lot in playoff 12s and obviously i'm happy that a used pair will sell for around retail considering we have a bunch of new pairs so if we could sell a used pair we could sell a new pair speaking of a pair that we have a bunch of i feel like we have a bunch of these right hair sixes mm -hmm. i didn't like hate this sneaker when it came out it was doing really well for us when it first dropped but uh, lately i just think jordan sixes don't do well speaking of that did you go for the sixes this morning i did and i did not hit really yeah. <laughs> I hit Jordan hit and Lisa hit all of them. So like, I don't think they're going for much. But again, to me, what do you think? Classic shoe, right? Classic shoe. That's a classic shoe. Mm -hmm. I mean, people don't really like wearing sixes like that. But uh, I was talking to my boy about this earlier today. It's just like I always talk about how I want to sell out of my collection, take the money, reinvest it, because I don't wear a lot of this stuff. And then you know, every other week, it's like a new shoe comes out. I need like I just got those Air Max ones, the tree lines. Like I think that's a really cool shoe. Midnight Navy sixes. Like I had to try to get a pair in my collection. Like will I wear them? Not really sure, but I had to grab one. Here we got an undefeated. Kobe. This sneaker sells really well for us when we get it in stock. This was an eight and a half. We literally just got put it up and it sold that quick. What do you think about the uh, Mambasitas that came out? The black ones? Yeah. I think those are cool. But like, what do you think about like the resale aspect of it? Uh, I don't know. So I'm kind of iffy thing. about that. I'm, I'm a little iffy about it. We posted that we weren't buying or selling them. I just don't see the need to do that. It's just weird because like what happened when Kobe passed away? A lot of people were talking shit about places in, in stores and people for trying to like gouge the market for Kobe because of his death. And I know, you know, he passed away a while ago now. What is it, like two or three years, mm -hmm. whatever it is, um, RIP. But to me, and also me not being a Kobe fan, I just don't want to all of a sudden, like, try to act like I really need that shoe and want that shoe and have to, like, have that in my store. If we got him for retail, we got him for retail, whatever. I just, I, I don't know. Me personally, I just feel weird about trying to profit off that particular sneaker. That's just my personal opinion. No shots at anyone else who's selling them, profiting off of that sneaker. Just me personally, I just don't need it. I just don't need that on me. So, yeah, that's that's my feeling on it. I, I heard 
Jordan in a video talk about how he would resell it. Obviously, like yeah, if you get it for retail and you resell them, like you know, you're doing you're doing what you're supposed to do, I guess. But me personally, I just I don't know. I, I, I feel weird about it. I feel like everyone forgot about like what some people stood for when the sneaker came out, right? Like mm -hmm. if you don't want the death to affect the resale price, you know, you wait a couple years and then and then you know you just start going crazy again. I mean, it is what it is. Shout out to everyone who wanted the sneaker to actually wear. You know, if I was a Kobe fan and I really wanted that shoe, I'd have to pay resale for it and I'd get it and put it in my collection and wear it and enjoy it. I think that's what it's for. But a lot of people obviously out here are just trying to get that cash. Never will knock anyone's hustle. I just wanted to give y'all my opinion on that matter there. Next up, we got a New England Patriots jersey. This is the Dion Branch. New England Patriots jersey sell pretty well for me especially like random players like Dion Brands. We also just got an Ocho Cinco jersey in, which is pretty rare to find in Patriots colors. Next up, we got a Grant Hill jersey. This dude is from Michigan or Detroit, I believe. So shouts to him. He said that he watches the channel. He wanted to support. So we're going to get this shipped out with some stickers as well. And last up, we have some Gum 11 Lows. These are obviously not in the best condition, but hey, we sell it all. Beaters to grills and all that stuff. Anything else going on today? Not too much. Uh, let's pack up this stuff and see what happens. I know they're in there with them right now. I got two pairs of them. My son wanted one, and then my wife got a pair too. So this size it might be tough for us. This size seven. You guys only take use. Uh, in this thing could you take use as well? We take use as well. Okay. Usually we just got to see in person. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're probably got a hold off on it just because it's size seven. It would just be a little tough for us to move. All right. yeah, sorry about that. No, it's all good. You wouldn't even know where I could probably get rid of them. No, I'm not awesome sure to be awesome. honest. Yeah, I say try phone them if I'm both. Maybe StockX as well too. Alright, cool. Alright, right, appreciate you. I'm fine, man. I'm going. Right, thank you. What's going on, guys? Pro back with another unboxing. Ordered these like last week, and surprisingly, they came mad fast. Got these for a really good price. I've been looking for some like different stuff. Me and Jordan have been talking about like getting into like different shoes, expanding our horizons, basically. I've been high on these for a while, just didn't know when to pull the trigger. Then I found a really good price on the boat. I don't think this is a shoe that any of you guys expect, but we shall see. The guy said the box was damaged, but I guess this is the only damage you see right here. And this is the Nike Air Carnivore CDG in a size 8 in the white color one. Ooh, this is a sneaker you don't see that often. As far as the model itself, the Carnivore, one of my favorite Nike models of all time. You just don't see this model as often. And like every time here and there, I'll look for like the OG Carnivores, but if I if I did, it'd probably crumble on me. So I just settled for these. Nice shoe to wear in the summer. All white, basically go with anything. As you can see, it's like got straps here, got like an ankle strap right here, CG on the back, and the mesh, like the upper area is kind of like a Hirachi. Yeah, Jordan, any thoughts on these? Uh, first thought when I saw those was a Hirachi because of that strap right there. Mm. It's like this whole base layer to me just reminds me of a Hirachi. I think it's very, very different. It is cool at the same time. You have this strap buckle right here, which is different. I'm not a fan of really high sneakers, so this kind of like throws it off for me. But I do think like it was like a little bit lower or if this was just like gone completely. I still think it would look mm. fire. But again, I think it is very different. Again, the model that I didn't even know about until you show me. I feel like I've seen something similar i like, did olivia kim do something like that i think so she did right something like this yeah it's so cdg in a sense of like it's just simple it's plain you got the white then you got the little the cream hits going like right there and on the back mm -hmm. i like the little calm cdg accent on the back where it just says calm they go song again something you're not going to see too often it's different it's definitely expanding your horizon and make you take a risk kind of excited to see how you put it together some different something you don't see any day hopefully you guys enjoyed this little review catch you guys later otherwise i gotta throw them on like posh mark or some shit Cause I'll never wear it. Uh, how much were you looking for for this stuff? Uh, I like ten dollars a shirt. Okay. They're used, like they're not like beat up, but I know they don't go for like crazy money either. I think this one I'll definitely pass on. Cause okay. we had this collab. This one oh, okay. just a little too wild. Yeah. It's just a little That's tough. why I like saw it. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking wear it. Yeah, that one's a little bit tougher to sell. Let me check out the call stuff. Okay. And and see, ten dollars a shirt doesn't seem bad. I just want to see what these three are going for. Yeah, I know you guys got to resell and make money too, you know? Yeah, it's, it's like, been a little yeah. tougher lately just with um, t-shirts in general. Yeah, everything's crazy. You guys had any advice on like where I should get rid of some beat up like old Jordans? What kind do you have? I got like Laney 5s, uh, Metallic 5s, Green Beans. Forget what 10s they were and like two pairs of 10s. We could take a look at them, honestly. Whatever. They're like yellowing, like they're just like worn That's and fine, shit. but yeah. like- Varsity you, sixes I have. If you want to bring those in, we'll take a look at those, okay. honestly. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I don't want anything crazy for that no, either, no, but yeah. I was like, yo, they're just sitting here. Yeah. Like, what the fuck am I doing? We kind of like specialize in stuff like that. So yeah. like, again, if the price is right, we'll, we'll definitely be interested in those. Um, This stuff here, I could do 80 for the pile. 
Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I yeah, have Venmo. Yeah. Apple yeah, Pay. I got Venmo. All right, cool. Can I see your Venmo, please? Slow today. Slow today and yesterday, honestly. Just doing a lot of work. You know, Burns has been doing a lot of social media stuff, like TikToks and content stuff, basically. Um, videos for this week, next week, stuff like that. All these jerseys, because Burns asked me yesterday, are these jerseys up? I thought they were, honestly, but a lot of these jerseys aren't up, so I'm trying to get those up, too. I'm trying to literally get everything in this store up. That's that's the main objective. We got some jerseys here that's going up. We got more jerseys on the desk over there. In the middle of all that, um, shout out to that kid. He just came by. We have been passing on clothing a lot, but again, his price was very, very fair. $10 a t-shirt, eight tees, $80. You know, can't go wrong. It's stuff that I think is gonna move pretty quickly. I feel like call stuff does really well in here. So we got this one. I just know that's Elmo and Cookie Monster, right? Uh, yeah, I think I think that's Cookie Monster. I don't know. <laughs> I just know that's Elmo. I think that's Cookie Monster. Then we got the Pride GT. Everything here is a medium, I believe. This one. This, I like the colors on this one. That's nice yellow. Yeah, the blue and the yellow goes, goes pretty well together. We got this one. This one. We got another one. And I think we have two more calls to use. Well, this one is Cookie Monster. Yeah, that, that's, that one's Cookie The other guy, I don't know who it was. <laughs> I think it's just a calls figure. Get the whole gang Get in there. Get the whole one. gang in there. Probably gonna flick all these up, honestly. So, we can send them to the warehouse. Every day, we're, li we're activating, like, a bunch of new stuff on the eBay. So, if you're not tuned to the eBay, stay tuned to the eBay. Have your notifications on. Again, there's a lot of stuff that's up there. There's a lot of stuff that's going up. Someone just called about a Grape 5 that we just sold. And he's asking if we sold it. And it's like, yeah. If there's something you like, make an offer. Because stuff has been fine buy pretty fast lately and a lot of stuff you can't even keep in stores you know it's just stuff is selling within a week of getting it so that's about that just want to talk about this hat the dude didn't pay yet i hope he pays because it's a fire fire hat one of my favorite fittest that we've gotten in lately this arizona diamondbacks hat first off the navy on it is crazy the gold accent beautiful the snake in the background and then this patch is just so beautiful and then the gold and then the four screen bottom brim so pretty clean took a risk on this hat hopefully this this guy pays so it can go so yeah you guys charge for your tees uh 25 we got we have new ones on the way though that's a small okay. that we have <laughs> gosh that's not gonna work yeah but we we have some on the way though that we just made i can do 268 with card so this basically is running is running the, yeah, the 260 i appreciate it thank yeah, you no all right here you go you guys actually uh, like get rid of gaming consoles here, or just uh, random stuff here and there? Uh, what kind of gaming consoles? Oh, so you got the PS5 controller. Right oh, now. PS5s. Just, yeah, we do. We do sell them. We have one. We have one left. Thank you. Go. Yep. There you go. And then these kind of smell like smoke. Okay. And then jerseys. And then beat gammas. Okay. And were you trying to trade or just sell? Yeah, trade everything. Alright, what were you trying to trade for? Uh, seven, I mean six belugas, herlas, red toes. What were you looking for for this stuff? Um... As close as I could get. I don't think I'm that close though. So I'm gonna just add bread. All right, cool. Pretty sure that you want one straight. Anything in mind? If the sheet's real, could you do like 50 credit and then you want probably like 30, 40? Cause I know it's like a size medium, I think. Mm -hmm. Shoes probably like 40 each, except for the, um, the foam runners. If I could get like a buck, I don't know what it's going for. Really. 40 each hair? Not like royalties a buck a 40 buck and then the rest of that stuff 30 40 whatever i don't care uh. Cool with you. I'll take this stuff right here. So the two jerseys and the four sneakers and these they're up tempos. These two I'll probably just hold off on and then I can do an even swap with those two. Oh all right. Yeah. If you wanna go low on those like 2020? The thing is the hybrid pods is just really sick for us. We have a bunch over there. They sell for like 40, 50, 60 if we're lucky. And the um Gamma the gamma they just they just really cook, which so we're trying to stay away from cook stuff. Ten um, ten. <laughs> We just had these for a while. Hooped in them. Went on a wet ride at like six legs. <laughs> uh, I'll take a shot at 10. Hyper pause is cool. Yeah, that's cool. So I owe you 20. And then that's swap, right? Yeah, that's swap for the, um, the other stuff. That's cool with you. 
I'm gonna keep looking because I, I thought I had to add bread. Yeah, go ahead and look around, see if you find anything else. Um, whatever else you're looking for, I drop prices and stuff like that. Um, if you're looking for anything specifically, just let us know. So, let's say you owe three. You said three? Mm hmm. Sell and then maybe this one store credit. Okay, did you see anything you wanted to trade for? Uh, for this one, yeah. Yeah, what was it? Um, either like even for us. Okay. You had those already, right? Nah. I, I had them, then I sold them. That's what it was. You wanted to, did we have a used pair up? Or no? What size you need? Eight or eight and a half? Eight and a half. Then what are you looking for for these? I don't know. We ain't going for that much anyway. Yeah. I'm going for 250 brand new. Yeah, I'm gonna check them out. How much you sure you want to hear? Those are, um, I don't even know, to be honest. Cause I know those aren't even going out for a lot either. Yeah, I was kind of thinking like a two for one. So these two for these. And what would it be if it was payout for both? Like you just took cash? Yeah. Roughly around the same. This one's a little tricky just because it has no lift. No, black lace. No other black lace. Well, they are new. Just the extra black lace. Yeah, I'll take the length for us, regardless. All right, bet. So you want to do that the two for one? Yeah, that's fine. All right, bet. Want a PS5? <laughs> yeah, tell him, PS5, yeah, you're the last one standing. Bro, I just wasted mad money on this. You know, that's not a waste of money. That was just that, <laughs> that, that, that shit gets you from point A to point B. It's not uh, a waste of money. These dunks down here, I, I'm not sure on. Um, one, two, three, four, I'll be interested in. Which one of those? Uh, the Sesame's? No. No. They're used, I think, once or twice. Okay, um, uh, start here, I guess. Yeah. How much are you looking for here? 150. 150, okay. Uh, muslins? I'll retail. I'm gonna dunk to retail. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. So I've been watching these, and I'm like waiting for everybody else, like yeah. for the for the Chicago's later in the year. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ah, oh, man, I got impatient, man. Mochas, how much are you looking for? 300 uh, and then they went back up they go they, they keep going down and then up and so and they're really good condition so how much you said 100 uh, so with this stuff i'm at 825. 825 all right so those what 50 bucks for, for the new houses where's the other shoe at it was these two and that one, right? Well, yeah, that, so yeah, that, that one, was like, whatever. Yeah, that one I'll definitely hold off on. Yeah. Because, what we had those up at again? I think 975. I would do the seven for those. I would do. That's exactly what I was looking for. That's cool. Cool. All right. Let me try them on just in case. They yeah. are half size. These might be all the bread toes. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And they're all around 140, so that's what I was asking. I saw that you guys were looking for some of those diamond lows, diamond mids. Pretty much same thing. Okay. Yeah, all those numbers came out to, I think, 1700. And again, I think they're fair. Yeah, I'll go through. I'll go yeah. through it, and I can let you know where I'll be at for everything. Yeah, I'll just look around. Yeah, go ahead. Take your time. I came up to 1420 for this stuff. Not too, too far off. So the best I could do is 1500. 15? Yeah. Okay. And I think that comes out to like, I don't know, about 25 a, a pair or something like that. Uh huh. We couldn't meet at 1450, me in the middle. 1475. One flip a coin, 1450, 1475. Yeah, definitely. All right. I don't got a coin. No, we got one. <laughs> it's not, no fake coin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, you could. Yeah. <laughs> no, just, just, just want. Yeah, I want you to know. I get to call it though, right? Yes, sir. You call right. it. Head. Tails it is. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best way for you? Cash. Cash. Yeah. Um, or uh, 
half on Zelle, half cash. Can you take a check if anything? Yeah, day? yeah. Check? Actually, right. I'll just take a, a check straight. All right, cool. Let me just take my ball. So yeah, man. You all. all righty, it's about 6, 17. Just doing some listings. Just bought about like 10 sneakers. Aside from like the um, Team Reds. Well, it's kind of like a little bit like a different stuff and like stuff we kind of been like hunting for basically. So for like the Brett lows, you guys know how we feel about those. If we could get it for a really good price, then we'll buy them. We got four pairs. I think we got a 12, 11, and two 11 and a half. We got a Team Red Dunk and a nine and a half. Bordo one, a size 10. The other two were, um, I forgot the names of the other two. My brain is shot, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, today, I think this week in general is just gonna be slow. I think Saturday may be slow as well because it's supposed to rain, but we may get a little traffic um, coming in. Really not much going on, honestly, just like a lot of work going behind the scenes, just content and stuff for the store and eBay and stuff like that. Shout out to everyone who bought some stuff. There's a few orders that we got that sold. Let me just try to refresh my memory. Some Air Forces we sold. Shout out to Rich, he copped a couple pair of fours. Bretto ones went out, shot it back, satin, shot it backboard. Um, went out, got in some foam runners and a 12 and a 10. You know, overall for a slow day, we did we did do pretty well. I think, you know, we got some good stuff in, got some good stuff out, you know. Um, that's kind of like the trend we're seeing right now. Just a lot of the stuff that we get, you know, it's going by pretty fast. Like the playoff 12 we sold earlier today, I actually sold last night. You know, we bought that yesterday, you know, around like one o'clock. So that just means we're doing the right things. And, you know, you guys are appreciating what we're doing, liking the stuff that we're putting out on YouTube and on the eBay. So again, if you guys look for anything specific, look on the eBay, call the store. We always pick up the phone. If, we're if we don't pick up the phone, that just means we're on the line, someone else, or the phone's just dead. It's one of those two things. I think that's about it for Owen. It's like every Wednesday, it's like you have a package. I mean, unboxing Wednesdays for Berwin. Hopefully my package come this week. I really hope it does. It says Tuesday, but it's coming UPS, so look at yeah. the camera. Berwin got some, some stuff to spill. Nothing much, I guess. <laughs> Wednesday comp it. How much the hat cost? We don't, we don't have to talk about the hat. How much the hat costs? <laughs> it's a shark tooth. I don't know, like a good like 70 to 120, something, 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 somewhere in there. Mm. But anyways, Dang. all I want to say is I'm really excited for Florida. I want to thank that guy again for like uh, buying me an A out. Really wish the whole squad could go out just because I know it'd be twice as fun if the whole crew was there but you know there'll probably be more opportunities for that in the future just reminded me that day june 4th while y'all while y'all are in um in orlando we will be open still oh yeah yeah on that side so, yeah like jordan just said the store is still gonna be open so if you guys still want to pull up that day it'll be jordan gary and evan running the store so they'll still be able to buy um sell and all that trades all that stuff you guys are still welcome to come through to the shop we have been pushing content out recently uh, from fleet videos to the video that dropped last night of us Delaware to just more TSK TV episodes. I do have an idea of us going out more and doing more content outside of the store. So if you guys have any ideas or any content suggestions that you guys want us to do outside of the store, let us know and we'll try our best to do them. Without further ado, and I look you want to try something different just because I did something different yesterday. <laughs> what is it? Oh man. Don't be still my shot. It don't steal my <laughs> shot either. <laughs> look, 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 you a, you're a thief. I'm gonna jump and then I'm gonna shoot it at the same time. But which way? How are you gonna jump? Are you like. I'm gonna walk and then jump it from here. So here we go. When I'm done, catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. Oh. <laughs> that <was> yeah. terrible. <laughs> and. <Bye>. See. <laughs> YouTube, what's up? Today is Thursday. As you can see, we got a decent amount of orders. Nothing too crazy, but there's two orders that I'm very, very happy about. That's going to be these Reacts and these Roshi Runs. The Roshi Runs only sold for $27 ship, but hey, that's just uh, one box we got out so we can put another box in. We got some neutral one lows. That's definitely a classic that's probably going to go up in the summertime. Another pair I'm happy about selling is these Indigo 12s. I feel like we stacked a bunch of those when they came out because we thought they'd go up in value and they did, but you know, it's, it's just not the most popular colorway for sure we got some weird kobe's here we got some crazy baltimore colts jacket this is one you never see svsms also known as the celtics speaking of the celtics how about them bucks but i'm not going to speak too soon because it's not over yet that game was crazy shouts to yana shouts to drew holiday shouts to bobby portis for seven up big and shouts to uh marcus Smart. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, oh, we got some stuff up here. Double nickels. That's a classic. Pine greens. Israfil Yeezys. I'm joining one of those. And uh, that's about it, guys. Got a couple orders. Happy about that. Dropping a video tonight. Hope you guys like it. As you guys know, we're going to continue to try to, you know, bring you guys cool content. Me and Berwin are going to go to Florida. And hopefully you guys enjoy that content. We're going to, you know, try to make a couple movies. Uh-oh. We just have another sale come in. The uh, Michelin S Philadelphia Eagles jersey. I think that's a Reggie White. So we just got that in. That's going out. But yeah, we're going to Florida. So hopefully we're going to make a couple of vlogs, sneaker stuff, other stuff. Shout out to everyone for supporting the YouTube channel. We greatly appreciate it. It means a lot. And yeah, let's see what happens today. What are you looking for for this stuff? Uh, uh, uh these two? It's kind of like whatever you shoot, I guess we kind of like work it out. They've been set in my closet for years, so. Okay. No price in mind. No, not really. I heard this is like one of the most uncomfortable rocks. Yeah, no, they're not. I rocked them in high school. And they were just, they, they killed my pinky toes. It's a cool design. Yeah, no, it's definitely nice to look at. It's just something about Brian I just can't get behind. Yeah. They just look so bulky. That 375 for everything. Alright, cool. That's cool? Yeah. Um, you have Venmo, uh, Apple Pay, PayPal. Uh, I have Apple Pay. You have Apple Pay, cool. I thought you was him for a second. Yeah, it's my like, brother, bro. Like, <laughs> look exactly alike. Yeah. And we say, yeah, my brother's about something. Oh, shit. How you guys doing? All right, brother? Yeah, hey, I'm good. I'm good. How about yourself? Thinking in here, my friend. How much, what, what style numbers are that? 550s? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much are they running? Uh, that one, like 120, something like that. That one's used. How much are you looking for for these? Uh, you need 260? How much would it be billionaires? Two. Did you buy any sneakers? Uh, kind of. For the most part, if, if the price is right, honestly, we will buy anything. It just yeah. comes down to the price when it comes to like stuff that's not Nikes or Jordans or Adidas. That's a little bit different. Um, I have sneakers, right? They're now all like, hey, my brother got hype. He got good stuff. Yeah. I got good, nice stuff. Like New Balance and stuff like that, we do no, buy. I got Nike. I got like, yeah. those, like the LeBron, yeah. like the old school Jordans, but yeah. I need to wear them. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to get rid of my son. My stuff stuff, stuff like that, like, we'll be interested in. Again, it just comes down to the price. This is a tough one. I know you offered me, I told myself, 260 That's what you offered me uh, a few days ago. No, I said you could sell them on gold. Oh, not gold. Um, stock hacks, so they were really high. I was saying, like, take pay out there because for us, it's just oh. going to be a tough shoe to move. But these are good. These two I was at 4.30 with. How, okay, how much you do on this one? Bro? i just be low because that shoe was dropping because last week when we looked, they mm. were at like 4 something. Yeah. That shoe is already down to like high 2, low 3. So that shoe is just dipping so already. What's the price you give on that? I mean, I can do 2.40, bro. But this one I wanted to be at like 2.30 if I took them. 2.35? 2.35 is cool. Yeah. How do you take your game? Uh, Zell. Zell. Yeah, yeah, through my uh, these are like the eights and above. I forgot one pair. They're they're actually in like better condition, so a little warm up. I think I'll hold off on these just because it's a GS yeah. size. So um, I figured I might as well bring them to see. I'll do these six for a hundred. I'm good with that. That's cool. Yep. All right. That's kind of what I figured too. Right, um, Vemo, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, bet. I should still have you in my phone. You don't got the cider, uh, don't know, do you? Cider. You like those? I kind of like them. You should have said so. I, I would have went for them for you. I went for them yesterday. It wasn't like major, but I don't like them. Put some purple laces in them. Like, I like them, but like, I feel like there's certain tweaks that needed to be made for that shoot for me to be like, all right, that one's really it. Mm, all right. The fat Two's cool. He got your number, right? Yep. All right. What are you looking for with this stuff? Uh, we'll do it individually. Um, uh, one fifty on this one, two on this one. one. I'll be back. Abro, be easy. Uh, one twenty-five on this one. One forty on this one. Uh, one fifty on this one. And this one. I don't know. It's between two and two fifty. Two hundred twenty-five hundred on that. These three I probably hold off on. This Coney's reacts and the um Harachis. That's good. And how much you said here again? Between two and twenty five hundred. Twenty two and twenty five. Oh, these are new. Mm -hmm. And my fault. How much for the um the dunks? Which ones? The uh, my ice I think is cool. One fifty. I'm looking at the prices. It's kind of like way more than they're going because they're not even going for the thousands. Nah, no, that's crazy. That's no, that's. I'm what what stock? I'm looking at the last. The last sale was 2020 though. 
It's because nobody's getting rid of them, nobody has them. There's only one ask right now, 27, or all yeah. 28. Yeah, even if you go on Flight Club, they're, they're still up there. Well, Flight Club is always way more than everyone. Yeah, but even if you take out the fees, there's no way it's going to be lower than two. Even on GOAT, last sale was 600. Yeah, but like I said, that's 2020 before Virgil. Yeah, this one I'll probably be just far off, honestly. Yeah, what would you do offer if you were to take them? I'll just, just be far off, honestly, just looking at those sales. You'll definitely get like more on your own. Depending what size you're looking at, there are somewhere in the, in the thousands, like yeah. 12, 13, 14, 11 different sizes. Seven and a half is just like one of those sizes. I feel like if you throw them up yourself, like let's say 15, 16, you definitely get like a, definitely a good offer. Um, just for us, I'll probably just hold off on. Dunks, I'll probably be at 100. What'd you say for the 11s again? 150, um, you was at? Yeah, 150 for Yeah, 150, I'll probably be at like. 60, 70 for these. I'll go 80 on these, but I'll go, I gotta go 110 on these. Um, I'll do the 110 here, and I'll do 70 here. Uh, 75, and we're good. Probably gonna get that 70. Um, I'll hold off on that. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you have Venmo? No. Uh, Apple Pay? Yeah. I was literally just looking at these last night right before I went to bed. First thoughts? You got to do first thoughts because you're a two guy. So I'm actually kind of disappointed. I do like the suede, um, the upper material, the cream hits. I'm a big cream guy. It's just that orange. Pause. It's just that orange. It's throwing me off a little bit. Maybe I'll like it in the long run, but right now I'm just not a big fan of it. The material feels great. The quality is great. The box is awesome too. You got these from retail? Yeah. yeah. When does he ever pay over? Oh, right. over <laughs> <laughs> they come out, actually, oh, see, I mean, maybe you can throw the yellow laces on. Would I buy these right now? Probably not. They're low. They are. I actually did look at the. I was looking at your size yesterday. They're at 300. Yeah. Sheesh. They are low right now. Not gonna lie, I don't like the leather on the inside. Like, usually I am a fan of. Oh, like, I get what you mean. Like, all this padding. You're right. Is gone. Like, yeah. Like, you're it's, right. Just feel that part. Pause. It's. Yeah. You know what it I'm saying? It doesn't, it doesn't, yeah. I feel like when you look at it too, like this right here is like, this is what makes it too, yeah. kind of. The shoe was supposed to drop last year. That's why I said 21 on it. Oh. So like, I don't know if you saw the interview with the dude from, um, with the owner from Union. He said the shoe was supposed to originally drop last year. I feel like this shoe should have dropped in the fall, personally. Like, it's a great fall color. I don't know, I'm weird. Like, sometimes I don't like stuff around my ankles. I like the toes out. I feel you. Key, or just like the ankles out. I mean, it would go with what I'm wearing Do now. you like them? Um, no, that's why they're here. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see that blue pair. Because originally you I was think, on, I you think you like this pair. Yeah, I, I was on the blue pair. I feel like we're switching now. Yeah. I feel like you like the blue pair more now, and I like. I got to one. see that blue pair in person too. I paid two what two thirty. Two two five. The other was. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're at like three twelve right now. They dropped that much, bro. Oh Dude, they my were, god. They were six hundred dollars when orders were getting canceled because they messed up their processing system. But they gave me the invoice because I put it in society. Yeah. So I got the invoice. I said, "Oh, you still six hundred? Cool." They come in the mail a week and a half ago. Uh -huh. It was at like four hundred. And I checked this morning before I was getting about to come here. It said three twelve. I was like, "Dude, what is god going on?" Yeah. They're not going for nothing. I didn't even check. No, they're like three hundred. You wear that in the summertime though? Yeah, Your foot gonna be sweating. Yeah, it's like it just done inside here. Oh, that's, that's it. That's a good, that's that's a good it. comparison. Just done fell off. That, that's a. I haven't seen everyone rocking those. Oh, yeah. A fake just done. Oh, that's literally what it is. Oh, the damn. Are, that's literally what it is. You're right. Oh, no, they made they made this color too with the hats that match this yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? To me, like the blue one is the only one I think. Yeah, blue one's about. cool. Like, I don't wow. Really that that makes sense. If you're going to get the Union too, you might as well get the blue because this is literally just like a just, just done. Don. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. So he's the poor man just done. It is. Wow. That's boss man. That's boss man AG. 250? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't sound bad. I don't know. Uh, it's not terrible. It's 25 over a box. I paid 225. They gave me free shipping because they, they screwed up. I think pay off like 240. 258. What size is it? Nah, it, went, it went down. Nah, 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 half. It actually? It did. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh my. Jordans can't do nothing. You said 250? Yeah, look, man, you got a look here. Got That's special cool, man. Edition. That's cool, bro. Special, special edition. <laughs> I love blue, cool. but damn. Yeah, no. Me, hey, are they gonna go up in a year? Is it gonna be a shoe? Everyone's like, oh, I'm sorry, slip on those. You never know. Good. How much were you looking for? Uh, about 180 for those. Alright. Uh, 52 pounds. 
Oh, the condiments. Yeah, anything else or just these two? Uh, I have two. These are a little more. What are you looking for these and those? 110 for those and 30 for these. Alright. Can you do uh, 250 for the three? 265. 260? Uh, what's the best way for you? Venmo, Zelle, you have none of those? I have Zelle. Zell? All right, cool. I also have the original box at the crib mm -hmm. with the other laces. Uh huh. So if you do take them, I'll bring them. This is the Joe Fresh Goods that just came out two weeks ago. Okay. All right, and I have the original box at the house. Okay. Obviously, they're both. These are both pre-owned. Okay. This is a collaboration. Converse Low, really funky. I never wore them. We just got. We just had someone bring those in the other day. Really? Yeah. Bro, these been sitting in my trunk, and I was gonna send them up to my boy in Rhode Island. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm never gonna wear them okay so they're a little bit too wild for me okay so. what are you looking for those two it's up to my boy aaron the dunks and the joe Frank. i don't know bro this is this so one. recent this is a couple weeks ago yeah this these, one. De these definitely there might be like, yeah these are definitely there. but this these one, you know if you're gonna if you're gonna list these or even put them in the in the showroom you gotta definitely jason mark like i said though i have the original boxes for both of them laces and all that jazz yeah nothing in mind you want for these I mean, I know that when you take it and you're gonna resell it, it's gonna, it's probably not gonna be crazy. So yeah, because these are these are a lot lower than I expected. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. I have the box, I have the uh, the laces and everything at the house. So I'd say if you're gonna bring the box tomorrow, just bring both of them back again. Then if that's the case. Well, it's either gonna be tomorrow or I'm gonna go before you guys leave tonight. I just don't feel like going all the way home and coming back. On my way home from work tomorrow, I could drop the box off. That's why. If you had the box, it would be like a little bit different. Just no box is a little bit. Tall. You're gonna make me go home right now. I'll go home right now. If you <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. I was gonna say, if you're gonna bring the box, gonna, then I'm like. Bring the box. I was gonna say, if you're gonna bring the box, I'll say just might as well just bring it. Like, let's do it together. Like, when you actually have the box, it'll be a little bit easier. What time are you here in time? Uh, seven. I'm gonna run. I gotta run home. It's just annoying. I gotta go to Nutley. Yeah. And then, uh, can I just leave these here? I mean, yeah, you can leave them here. If you're coming back here, you can definitely just leave I gotta, them here. I gotta get the box for this and the box for this. I have them at the crib. Yeah, that's fine. Not including the Converse, like 200 for both. You wanna be at uh, for this? Uh, and the New Balance, yeah, not including the Converse. Not including the Converse. It's up to you. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of tough because you I just, gotta I, take it at a price that. Um, like these ones. It's just a shoe that's gonna sit for us, and I literally just passed on one the other day. That's the thing. Like literally last not Friday. Stock, Same so. thing though. It still wasn't going for anything. I understand that. I understand. That. Why don't you do 250 for everything? These are going for under 100. Yeah. I hope. I think I just hold up for these. All right. So at least give me 225 for these two. Do 225. For those two? Yeah. How about this? Do 240 for all three. I'll make that easier for you. Just do 240 for all three. That's not bad. You know what I mean? How does he usually you pay you? Can you do cash? Go for we have cash. Cause, cause, uh, How much you look for these? Because honestly, we've been past on Yeezy, especially Yeezy's with no box. Like 300, 250? Yeah, I'll probably just pass, honestly. These are just, just really smoked. Um, a lot of these, like this, we usually just pass on it just because it's a little bit tougher to move. Mm -hmm. I'll say if you have GOAT, try putting them up on GOAT. Because uh -huh. um, you have uh, it's a 13. 13. Yeah, I'd say try putting them up on GOAT because, you know, it'll move for something, but not not much, honestly. Yeah, I'd probably just pass on it for now. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, well. What's going on guys? Bro, I'm back with another What's Hot in the Shop. And as always, you gotta start off a little fit rundown. Today we got on Playboy button up, some plaid blacks, I wanna say, dress pants, and then CDG Carnivores I unboxed yesterday. Topped with a Budweiser trucker hat. Beautiful day today. Oh, the post lady's here, Jordan. Oh, I kinda wanna film this. So you wanna film me bringing out that? No, I'm helping you out! As I was saying before the post lady came, it's a beautiful day today. About 78 degrees, maybe a little less than that. It's actually been a somewhat fast paced day. A couple buys, a couple sales. I'd say it's been a pretty good day so far. A bunch of shoes about to go up this weekend or today by tonight. Jordan just finished this entire rack of jerseys to list up and put on eBay. So if you guys are looking for jerseys for your favorite team, we got them. Basketball, baseball, football, hockey, etc. To start off with some new stuff that's hit the shop. We're gonna start off with these. I believe these are called the Ferrari. Ferraris, if I'm not mistaken. Suede is uh, fading a little bit, but it still looked pretty cool. Got the little chrome hit right there, along with the yellow hits on the side of the shoe and the back. We also just got a used 
uh, UNC 6 size 12 pretty clean I know a lot of you guys asked to go over some big sizes and honestly guys I just go over whatever we get in the shop that day or that week it may be small sizes it may be big sizes I really never know it just depends on the day and the week here we got some BBC human races these are a size 11 lately lately used these are actually kind of dope I think the other pair connects with this part so which is fire a very very clean lightly used size 10 cardinal red super clean for the summertime over here we got a UNLV size 10 lightly lightly used minimal heel drag stuff like that right here we got a couple form runners in this is a size 10 forgot what colorway that is but I think it's like brown or gray or something like that we got a vermilion and a size 12 looks pretty much brand new we got this wave runner in today this is a size size 10 super super clean as well these will probably be gone by the weekend more easies over here 350 lightly used this is a size uh, 10 dazzling blue lightly used size 10 as well and i think this one's an eight i'm not mistaken this oreo yep oh no it's a nine so we got a nine oreo 350 we also got a couple belugas in lightly used this is a size size 10 and a half i think this is an eight beluga i will say if i was still into 350s i would actually cop a pair of those just because i wanted those back when they first released here we got two unique easy 350s i think these are called like the flax colorway the size 12 I believe the dude who sold us those said that they released overseas and they weren't really much of a US release So those are kind of cool here. We got uh, I forgot what colorway this was but super super fire colorway This is a size size 10 and a half lightly lightly used. I really like the different shades of like blue purple ish pretty cool and then to end off the Yeezys we got a sesame size 8 just in yesterday here we got this Jordan 3 I forgot what colorway this was I think it's called like rust pink or some shit size 10 and a half women's 9 men's pretty cool colorway got another cardinal size 9 lightly lightly used this is part of this city pack the Chicago size 9 and a half pretty cool don't see those every day you got a couple royalties in I, th I believe they're both a 9 and a half so that's it for the slat wall now moving over here we just got this 5 50 in this is a size 8 the shadow black colorway moving to the slat wall we just got the cdg air max 95s in i believe i saw joe lapuma talk about these in his recent uh, q a video that he did with complex these are super sick i kind of want these in my size we got a classic right here the ray gun sb it's one of the first ones this is a size 10 i believe starfish low just got these in i think yesterday size 9 super super clean too looks like he didn't even wear these to be honest and then here we got a a size 9 brand new ALD 550 in the gray colorway and then I know we spoke about the shirts like a video ago these may or may not be on eBay but we do have a couple WWF shirts if you guys are looking for them this one's one of my favorites Rattler Stone Cold and then him on the back and then pretty soon also we will be posting all these shirts that you guys see here and then to end things off we just got these in today these jordan 2 unions i was high on it and it came out and then just seeing it in person i'm kind of disappointed maybe it'll grow on me but right now I'm just not a big fan of it we do have these in a size nine and a half these may or may not be gone by the time this video comes out so stay tuned for that and to end things off i just wanted to address something if you guys do pull up to the shop parking is a bitch so if you guys look for parking i'm gonna show you guys where to park when you guys pull up to the shop you guys will see that fence that's where the old parking lot used to be caldwell township if you're watching this please fix this parking deck no one can really park there you know how do you expect people to park against the fence like come on get a whole parking lot right there and it was beautiful but they just decided to knock it down so if you guys do pull up you guys are allowed to park across that fence where that I think it's a black honda or whatever it's parked right there pretty much all along that fence so if there's no parking over there when you guys pull up there's a bakery literally over, all the way over there it's called calandra's bakery you can park in that lot maybe grab a cookie or something i don't know something sweet and yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this segment of the video like we always say if you guys see something that you like if you guys are interested in something that you see in the video dm us give us a call our ebay is topshelfkicks.com our phone number and address is in the youtube description and yeah see you guys in the next clip Alrighty, it is about 6 17 wrapping up last day of the week we just bought some joe fresh goods 2002 r's first time seeing them used we got some classic green sbs and then we got some just some random converse we sold the size 15 lebron 15 low we also sold a mocha one low that size 12 and a half compact easy that we got already going out the door so really stoked about that sale because again you know we bought that three hours ago two hours ago and 
we already sold it. So that's the beauty about what we've been doing lately. You know, stuff's been moving exceptionally fast. A lot of these jerseys, a lot of these jackets, a lot of these clothing, you know, they're flying by. You know, Burr and I sat outside for a little bit today just to catch some sun, honestly. It just feel really nice to be out there while we listed. And we're trying to do a better job, just, you know, keeping track of inventory and stuff up faster. You know, like Burr said earlier, if you're looking for parking, you can park across the street in the parking lot. I know it doesn't look like a parking lot. It looks just like a weird spot just with like fences standing up, but you can park along the fence. Don't pull up in front of the shop and leave your car there, even if you put your hazards on it, because you will get a ticket at the cost roll by. It's one of those things where like, if you get a ticket, it's like, kind of told you so, so. Um, just be aware of that stuff. If you guys trying to sell stuff, call us, let us know what you're trying to sell, DM us. If you're out of state, we, for the most part, only deal with new, but if it is like something, like a crazy heat that's that's used or lightly used, we'll possibly take a look at it and possibly buy it. But for the most part, we do work with new. So again, if you guys got any good stuff, you know, let us know what you're looking for, what you're trying to trade. We buy, sell, and trade all the time. So a lot of you guys call asking, do you guys, do you guys buy sneakers or are you guys buying today? Honestly, we buy every day. So there's not a day that we're not buying. Again, it just depends on the price and what you're trying to sell. If everything sounds good, if it if it, if it makes sense to us, we'll buy it. I think that's about it. Everyone's doing a crazy one and done this week. So I don't want to be the oddball to shoot a one and done. I don't know what to call Burma's shot because his shot was totally <laughs> different from what I was expecting. A did a bounce shot from here. I'm gonna do the between the legs bounce pass that I've been trying to get for some time now. So um, one and done. Catch you guys next week. Peace. Oh, that would have been crazy. Catch you guys next week. <laughs>